everyone and welcome to my channel so yes we are hopping right on in the shower but first of all i got my nails done yesterday y'all like them all i get is like remixes of pink and white every freaking time i don't i can't help myself anyway we're gonna start off by getting our body all wet and uh, especially our face and we're gonna start by exfoliating so we're gonna get our body wet get our face wet and then I made this exfoliator because I have sensitive skin and all I've been seeing is exfoliants with dye and fragrance in it and I just can't put that on my skin. Look at me being clumsy. Anyway, I can't put that on my skin so I made my own organic exfoliator at home and that's what I'm about to use. I have to take it from the kitchen or well, the refrigerator and then put it in another container because it doesn't have a preservative in it. With body scrubs and body products, you need a preservative in it if it's gonna come in contact with water. Because if you don't put the preservative in it, it can attract, girl, what, I must've gotten in my mouth, I did. <laughs> if you don't put the preservative in your body scrub, if water comes in contact with it, it's going to develop mold and we don't do that. So I start by exfoliating my face, getting my cheeks and my forehead, and I use this exfoliating cloth that I got from Dollar Tree for a dollar. And on one side is the exfoliant, on the other side is more of a smooth cloth. So I use the smooth side of it to wipe off that excess exfoliant and make sure my skin is good and clean and free of exfoliator. And then I move down to my body. Get all over when you exfoliate. I get under the arms, my arms, my stomach, my back, my legs, my feet, my butt, like every, like exfoliate everything, your lady parts, my thighs, like look at the glow though. That is what I'm trying to show, just like, do you see the material? That's why it's super important to exfoliate. Just get all the dead skin seals, get into the pores, open it up, and then once you rinse it off, you want to still be glowing. And then we move on to our bar soap. So you guys, my routine is exfoliant, bar soap, body wash and cleansing wash so after we exfoliate we move on to our dub sensitive skin body wash and we make sure we get all over the body the bottom of our feet our legs you know it's so crazy to me i cannot believe last year or maybe two years ago it was a discussion about do you guys wash your legs in the shower or do you just let the soap run down to the legs and that was the craziest weirdest discussion to me i don't understand how you don't want to get your legs in the shower with soap like what anyway so we've moved on to the body wash i use the dove sensitive skin body wash and pretty much just repeat the same patterns i just wash my entire body my neck my back my neck and my back child my arms then i make my way on down to my legs and make sure we get our feet good the bottom of our feet the back of our legs your kneecaps like don't just get in the shower and let the soap drip down your legs into your feet and hoping that it cleans it like you need to get down there and scrub okay okay y'all so this is where it gets a little sticky i got the honey pot because i want to support black businesses but y'all, the pump was not working. I don't understand. I was like, is it me? Am I the drama? I'm, I'm like really trying to work this pump and it's not, it just wasn't working for me. I started shaking it using both hands and I'm like, I'm lit, like this took me 10 minutes and it wasn't working. So I go back to Overliable, my summer's eve, okay? <laughs> and I told you guys before that I use summer's eve all over my body and not just for the lady parts because it is for balancing your ph so i feel like your ph is all over your body and if you want to get it balanced and make sure you are intact and you're still smelling good i just make sure i put it all over my body including my feet i'm still like tripped out that the honey pot stuff didn't work the pump wasn't working so i'm like do i need to go and take it back to target I will, I'm gonna take it back and just get exchange it for another pump and hopefully the next pump works. But yeah, this is still the summer's eve. I definitely make sure I get under my arms, balance that pH, making sure I'm smelling good, feeling good, 
and I'm repeating the same process as I did with the body soap and the body wash and then I get to spinning like a rotisserie chicken to make sure I clean off everything that I have used all the products and let the water drip so now we are out the shower and it is time to do our skincare routine for our face I'm going in with my CeraVe facial cleanser so far I've only used Cetaphil CeraVe and Neutrogena facial cleansers and they've all seemed to work really well for me I prefer CeraVe over Cetaphil I can't remember why I really don't remember why I guess because I like how soapy it gets more so than the Cetaphil and after that we wash the facial cleanser all after we put it all over our face and the forehead of course and we pat it dry with a damp cloth and after that I usually use toner but I ran out so I'm using witch hazel and I'm like oh I need to get my brows waxed shall I? anyway I'm going in with witch hazel I know everyone's skin isn't um, compatible with witch hazel I know it dries out a lot of people's skin but it doesn't dry out my skin witch hazel works really well for me it actually works just as well as toner is what I've been able to find out so we put that on a cotton ball or a cotton pad whatever anything cotton I wouldn't use tissue or like a paper towel just like a cotton ball or something like that and rub our face this is to help clean out our pores clean out excess makeup anything that we may have missed and then we air dry it out baby okay y'all so we are it's a lot going on outside we are cleaned now it's time to moisturize all our sensitive skin products have been used now we're going to go in with some vitamin e oil for our face okay i get this vitamin e oil from family dollar i think it's like a dollar and 50 cent due to inflation it's probably been going up to two dollars but i can only put not i can only but i usually only just put vitamin e oil on my face and that works wonders i've never had any other issues vitamin e oil is on and now time to move to moisturize our body and I'm going in with my Osea Andaria body oil. This is so, like, I really love this. I'm going to put some puffs in our hands and start with our arms and work our way down. It is so hard to get your back. Y'all, I smell like oranges. A group, I smell like a bag of oranges. Delightful sensational i love this man i love citrus i mentioned before like i've always been like a fruity citrus type of girl when it comes to scents but i'm trying to get more into like my grown woman scent like the vanillas and the coconuts and the sandalwoods and the you know the woodsy more mature scents i'm trying but you know you know you can't you can't stray too far away from what you're used to from what you know and i i know i know citrus i know citrus gonna always do my nose and my body good as i I stick with the citrus, okay? I'm a little clumsy and I could fall, so stick to the lotion for the feet. You already know my motive, I, I can't control it. Real nigga, but I fuck up sometimes, why? Cause my heart broken, I let you walk away knowing I need ya. Heart broke, I can't see Oh my gosh, y'all, I almost forgot about the witch hazel thing. I almost forgot okay so if you watch my video about my sensitive skincare tips it's definitely going to be in the description below if it's not already linked up above I put witch hazel you wipe your backside okay all right all right so this is what we're gonna do uh, we're gonna take baby wipe we're gonna put some witch hazel on the baby wipe and we're gonna Wipe the back and make sure we smelling clean and fresh down there. So apparently witch hazel is supposed to keep you smelling good, clean and fresh in the backside area all day. And I've been doing it. It's been working. I'm about to do it again today. I love this little trick, y'all. Okay. So we have our wipe. We're just going to go back there. I got, Listen, everything ain't for everybody. You can try what you want to try, but I feel like it'll be... It's, witch hazel is natural it's good for all skin types not everyone's skin is like compatible with witch hazel but if you want to try it it's always there for you to try you know what i'm saying so don't knock it but that's all for today y'all thank y'all so much for watching this video and i will see y'all next time
let you walk away knowing I need ya Heart broke, I can't see ya But nobody else That'd be too bad for my health I'm just a fuck nigga And I know you don't trust niggas And I know I ain't shit But I'm toxic so I'll stay in touch with ya